Horizons Hi, with Deb. Deb and our beautiful Jim Krupa. And Krupa. Jim. <laughs> we are so happy to see Krupa back with us. You all know who Krupa is. So Deb, Hi. Jim, and Krupa. Yeah. Thank you, guys. I feel so like... Our I mean, natural remedies expert. That's oh. right. That's right. Natural remedies. Happy New remedies. Year. Happy you, right? Happy, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. And, and Krupa's got great thoughts to share with us. I did want Thanks. to mention a few birthdays because we always like to honor it. Do you have any birthdays, Krupa, that you want to recognize? Um, yeah. Well, Ronnie just had her birthday December 2nd. Ron, uh, 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 she Krupa's turned daughter Ronnie is here <laughs> with us. She's with us. She's not with us right here, but right. she's right over Happy there. birthday, happy, Ronnie. Happy birthday. She's smiling. <laughs> and then um, my mom's birthday is coming up on January 31st. Well, and happy birthday, Bebe. Mom. <laughs> yeah, her name is Bebe. Bebe, happy birthday. And Claudia's birthday. My sister lost December. Oh, uh -huh. my goodness, my... Excuse me, I gotta go backwards. It's a big time for birthday. Yes, so my nephew's birthday, John, is on Monday, the 16th. Okay. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, John. <laughs> okay. That's... And then my sister in law's birthday is on the 27th, Claudia, Claudia January. Happy birthday. birthday, Claudia. Then mom's birthday is on the 31st, 31st. Wow. of January. Wow. Yeah, rolling and along. Your father comes too, and right? dad's right. birthday is February the 4th. And then their anniversary. And their anniversary is <laughs> on the 3rd of February, which is 54 whoop, whoop, years. 54 years. God bless you. And then Yasmin. Yasmin, yeah, my daughter, is February 9th, and she'll be 21. Wow, you've got wow. all of them coming. Wow. Yeah. So when you ask it's me if I have time for birthdays, birthdays coming up. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ronnie everybody. and everybody. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. And I have a Yay. couple of birthdays. Candace Keene was on the 10th. Happy birthday, birthday. Candace. Dylan Snyder, the 12th. Dylan, happy, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Dylan. Sally Bird on the 14th. Sally happy Bird, birthday, happy Sally. birthday. Martha Gillespie Beeman was uh, will be on, was on the 14th. Happy birthday. Josh McDonald will be Monday also on the 16th. Wow. Kristen Anissa is on the 17th. Huh? Mindy Heilman on the 18th and Craig Hager on the 18th. All right. So happy birthday, happy, all of you! Happy birthday, happy everyone! Birthday. Enjoy. We like enjoy. to honor each of you because it is an honor. To, that is. To, 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 for, you touch so many people's That's lives, right. all of you. And, and we'll make like sure you, you celebrate the whole month of January. Now, no cheating. That's right. Don't Love just this. celebrate on your one day. Spend the whole month celebrating, right? Absolutely. Right. You and have we're to. So excited to have Krupa back with us. Yes. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Gosh, I've been like, I love you guys. Well, oh, we, we feel love the same I really way. do. We love you. you guys the are same so way. Amazing. We always feel the same way. I, you know and what? I know so... I've known Krupa since you were a child. Lie. Since I was a <laughs> child. And goodness <laughs> knows how old I am now. <laughs> many years. Jim and Krupa go back. Yes, Yeah, we do. go back many, 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 many years. Yes, That's and what nice. we love about Krupa is natural remedies. Her whole life is devoted to helping people. Yes, and I love it. Yes. For me, um, first of all, I love that I'm very passionate. Those who, of you mm. who know me uh, know that I'm incredibly passionate about health and wellness yes. and natural remedies, and that's what I do. In fact, one of her company is called Roots and Remedies. Yes, yes. So my <laughs> business, <laughs> yeah, Roots N for Natural Remedies. Yes. Um, I've had it for several years. Tell us the website again. Yep, it's www.roots.com. Roots N for natural remedies. The letter com. N. Mm -hmm. The letter N. Write it down. Yep. Roots N remedies. Oh, roots and remedies. actually, and dot net because I actually have both. Yeah. But so dot, dot net and dot, dot com. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so uh, well, we've had other exciting things happening yeah. to you this year. This past year. Gosh, there's a lot <laughs> of amazing things. So tell amazing. us a little bit about what else you're doing. So okay, yeah. Um, in a nutshell, which is very <laughs> difficult for me. So those of you who know me, just a little bit about a history of me. So I love Ayurvedic medicine. Ayurveda is a science of life um, that originated in India. It's a 5,000-year-old practice that takes foods from the earth as medicine. Which, is, which makes sense. Which right? makes sense, exactly. We're yes. put on this earth for a reason for with yes. all these amazing medicinal um, shrubbery and herbs and plants around us So for medicine. So I... Last year, um, goodness, it's been a year already, I um, <laughs> was able to connect with a, yeah, fast, an international company. Um, they're based out of India. The name of the company is called JK Botanicals. They've been around for 140 years. It's a five-generation family run by two brothers. 140 years. Yeah. Wow. That says an awful company. lot. Yeah. Yes, family. Says an awful lot. It does. Yeah. And they actually... Um, uh, we, we are, I work as an independent contractor for them for um, 
as a business development manager for the entire United States, mm -hmm. um, including Canada now and parts of South America. Yes. Yeah, yes, sure is. So what does that role mean? It means that I now have the ability to work with the top of the supply chain. I'm in the supply chain at the top of the supply chain. That is so special. Where I'm great. able to like yeah. make sure that all the raw ingredients that are coming into our country um, are top notch, you know, and because I'm an herbal and an Ayurvedic practitioner, I'm very familiar with the medicinal benefits. Yes. So you I know. You're perfectly suited for that position. Yeah. And, and oh I'm my sure goodness. They're, Talk they're about so happy God to working in his power. Yes. 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 Yeah. So I'm able to do. And you've been traveling quite a bit. I've been right? traveling. <laughs> what an ideal situation. Yeah. I've been traveling a lot. I've been traveling a lot. That's part of the the role, you know, um, which actually helps. It, it goes hand in hand with Roots and Remedies as well. So um, I've been, I was in Vegas. I was just in Vegas. Yes. Um, in November, we exhibited there at one of the largest, um, actually the largest global manufacturing um, expo in that was, the U.S. That must have been yeah. exciting, huh? Yeah, it was great. Yeah. So I, I was able to people. met a lot of yeah. people and we were able to talk about um, just all of the amazing herbs that we're um, showcasing, you know. Nice. What, what's the, some of the latest ones that you've been showcasing? Yeah, so like this is the stuff that I love to talk about. Yeah, so, um, so we are focusing on one that I love, passion flower. Some of you guys have, been, have heard of passion, passion flower. flower. Mm -hmm. So when I was collaborating with the owner of the company, he had asked me, well, what what do you think that we need to bring into the U.S. Um, that will really benefit a lot of the, you know, people there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so um, we've all heard, a lot of people have heard of ashwagandha. Oh, yeah. Ashwagandha? So ashwagandha is an adaptogen, um, and it works with your cortisol levels, uh, helps reduce your stress, and then gives you a better night's sleep. And um, <laughs> all right, now. yeah, it's great. But ashwagandha has been around for a long time. So that's something that I think a lot of you have probably been familiar with. But um, I wanted something different. Right. So because it's already like in a saturated market, you know, ashwagandha, ashwagandha, even it's medical so doctors. Many, it's in so many. Yeah, medical doctors are even like referring their patients who want to go along in the lines of natural medicine, they're referring ashwagandha. But I'm like, we need to bring something in different because there's so many other um, adaptogens mm -hmm. out there that are unfamiliar to the sure. majority and of people. Sure, them to the United States. Yeah. yeah, so why I mentioned passion flower is because I felt like it's also a very strong contender. Um, and actually, in so many ways, it's better than ashwagandha. Well, I shouldn't say better. It's different than ashwagandha. Um, and so we did a clinical trial um, on our ashwagandha, uh, which is called Civi. It's a branded line called Civi. Uh, S-I-V-I. And um, so Civi Passion Flora or Passion Flower, uh, we did a clinical trial. Uh, we took 30, I'm sorry, we took... Um, Subjects ages between 18 and 55, men and women. Mm -hmm. And um, we did a 30-day um, study against those subjects that had a placebo. Mm. So it's, wow, yeah, it's, it's great. So what we and did. been completed. The study. Wow. the study has been completed. And the results, and the results are fantastic. Wow. Um, over a 15-day period and then over a 30-day period, you saw the reduction of your, your cortisol levels went down, the improvement of your stress Mm. was um, amazing. How do um, I get that? How do I get that? <laughs> and then, and then, and, uh, I wonder where. <laughs> I don't know. Roots and Remedies. Roots and Remedies, yeah. So <laughs> we're doing and branding our own Roots and Remedies line soon, too. That's so. terrific. Yeah, we're working wow. on all that. Yeah. So this is a new year, and you've been Lots. getting a lot of fun, exciting things yes. in your life. That's fabulous. Yes. You know me, I can talk about all this all I day long. I know, and it's exciting because it's all natural, and it's healthy, and it's all good. Yes. All good. Well, when I asked Krupa to be our guest, she said, what topics would you like me to cover? And <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, well, with the new year, that's right. a lot of people are thinking about stress management. Mm -hmm. Big time, sure. And immu immune, uh, the immune system. So yes. those are two topics I think yes. we would enjoy speaking yeah. about. So yeah. well, why don't you tell us what you would feel you want to discuss about stress management? Well, unfortunately, we all have stress. Yes. Good, bad stress. Some we all people have stress. manage it better than others. Some that people... is so true. <laughs> <laughs> do you manage it better? I, I, well, I think you do. I exercise a lot. That's an important You know, that's true. That's a good point. You do. Level. And yeah. it's very Unfortunately, healthy. Unfortunately, I can sleep. You can uh, shake it off a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. I sleep. Yeah. And I try to eat healthy foods. Yes. You know? That's well, true about you. That is true. key right there. I'll be honest. I mean, is to get good sleep yeah. um, and is to eat well um, and to get exercise. Yeah. But not everybody has 
I shouldn't say time or opportunities because we can always try to make time, but some mm-hmm. people's lives don't always allow for that. Right. You know, as based much, on circumstances. As much time as they should. As much time right. as they should based on circumstances. To make a concerted effort. Though. Correct. Right. Correct. And another one is meditation. Meditation is, is huge. It's huge. I, you know, <clears throat> what I do every morning, and I might have mentioned this to you before, but every morning I have I have a ritual of getting up in the morning and I have my tea, and then I like to sit. Typically, when it's nice, I like to sit on my balcony. Right. And then I'll take my notebook and I'll kind of write down my thoughts of the day. Um, and I do that the night before as well. But I like to I like to start my day off with that. This with that. Mm-hmm. And then I'm very spiritual, you know, originally from India. So I do like to take a few moments of meditation when I can. So just kind of peace and quiet. Beautiful. And I think that very that essential. sounds yeah. Very and much. I when you start that way every day, it's a beautiful it's, way to start. Your yeah. day. start no, your day. it could be prayer also. When we talk about prayer. meditation, yeah, it's that's just what I do. it's a time when you reflect and, and you can pray or meditate. Yes, right. And it just it really sets the day off beautifully. And if it works, and, and you're you calm, stick with it, right? which is a nice calmness about the the, the morning. And Krupa sometimes takes photographs and she posts them on yeah, Facebook. I do. Like Deb, she, she also posts photographs all the time. I know. Nature. We're, I know. I yeah, know. It's very the same much similar. Thing. Yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you for sharing those with us. Yeah, we really absolutely. appreciate that. Definitely. Because even though we and didn't the see them, we get to see the experience through Krupa and Deb when they post. I love them. to take pictures. I think, and one of the other things that you know I do, so I also take a picture of myself and I smile and I'm like, I hope, like, smiling is contagious. Right. right. The smile and the whole world smiling is you, contagious yeah. so it is if it you is. smile and you laugh it's contagious and and i, I think we need more. more we need I more and more of that you just recently posted a I beautiful did. picture of a white rose yes and i was like wow gorgeous someone special I gave t- that to me i said gorgeous yeah, you, and wait, you put that in back. the post i said mm, who's this someone special <laughs> you guys will find out yes there, there is a there's a special person in my life and oh. i will share Good to yes. hear. We're Wonderful. happy to we're Thank happy you. Very happy. You deserve it. You Thank deserve you. it. Yeah, yeah, he's a great guy. Exactly. And then you also posted the moon the other night, which was beautiful. I know. Well, yeah, I to be honest moon. with you, I saw that moon. It was stunning. Yeah. I was driving home after going grocery shopping with Ronnie, and I captured the moon. And I'm like, I just have to rush to the beach. I know. Because it was so magnificent. I wish I had gotten it just wow. a few minutes earlier because... It was so... The reflection on the mm-hmm. ocean was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, just, it just captures you when you see that. Yeah, and so visuals so, are important. It's so nice because at the moment when you see that beautiful, beautiful opportunity, you're like, oh my gosh, and then all of a sudden the light changes. I'll, I, I actually pulled over just to take a photo because it me meant too. more to me yeah. than catching that traffic Those light because it's, so a in our lives. Yeah. it's a so moment in time. It's a moment in time, absolutely. Just communing with nature, you know, the beauty oh, of the moon and the stars. Yes. And that's and that, I think, is important um, throughout the course of the day. Like, when I do my private consultations, um, I always, I, like, I, I have this analogy, and I might have brought it up to you before. Like, I take these train tracks, right? So we're on these train, like, it's kind of a, I use these analogies, so in the morning we get up, we're on track. Right. But then through the course of the day with the stressors in life and work and everything else, we get off, we get kind of derailed a little bit. So how do we get back on track mm-hmm. again? That's, so it's yeah. really important to have like these afternoon breaks and rituals and then, you know, evening. So something that we have that brings us back right. on track. Right back on track. You know, and I think it's essential to take time for yourself, even if it's five minutes, Definitely. five minutes. I mean, I couldn't agree more. You know, just Absolutely. something to breathe, because after a long day, you know. Now we're talking about the, the towards the end of the day. There, you know, the beginning of the day is meditation, is spirituality, and whatever you like to focus on that makes you happy to start off. But towards the end of the day, we need to have that same type of That's mindset. That's right. And also you before know. you go to sleep, you know, some people yes. are on their computers and their phones, and you then know. they try to go to sleep. It's so important to meditate or so pray important. also yeah. at that point. It's and you know, it's funny because recently I just started taking my phone and shutting it off. And yeah. I do that on a regular basis now Good. because I Good. realize I don't have time for that right now. Yeah. This is my time. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not being selfish. What no, it is is being good. essential, like you said. Yes. It's very necessary. It's a necessary yeah. that you need to do for yourself. Yes. And in keeping with stress management, tell us a little bit about herbal teas. Yes. So, uh, you know, I'm a tea girl. <laughs> I'm a tea girl. Well, it's great because, you know, I, I work with a company, JK Botanicals, and we utilize, um, we manufacture our own herbs. 
all the herbs are manufactured and we work with certain farmers so we know that it's the purest of the pure and the whole process of it is just amazing it's beautiful yeah. so um but yeah tea teas are you know being from india originally and we drink tea and then i grew up in england so it's tea um so my favorite teas generally speaking well i have a few so in the morning i like my hibiscus i think i've mentioned that before yes. My hibiscus tea, which is great for reducing blood pressure naturally. Now, when you have your, your teas, are you making them? What's how are you brewing them? Yeah, what, I like the what, loose leaf cut. Loose leaf, yep, okay. and then I I just um, you know steep it. Right. And then I usually steep it for about three to five minutes, um, and a, you can have like a little mesh ball strainer. I mean, there's many different types of little um, strainers out there. Can you, can you get those on Roots and Remedies? Yeah, you can get those on Roots and Remedies. Just okay. give me a call or okay. send me a message or get it on my website. Okay. So, but yeah, so... Hibiscus in the morning. Okay. Hibiscus, this is what I like. And then... I just wrote that down. My I dad likes... Good. Yes, hibiscus is great. And that's good for your cardiovascular. So, you know, I mean, high blood pressure does run in my family and touch wood to this day I am not on any medications on pharmaceutical and I plan not to be as long right. as possible or forever <laughs> um, so but yeah that's why I, on certain days I have my hibiscus it must I, have a wonderful aroma the hibiscus it does yeah. and it's a beautiful color too so. now, what, what color is it's, it? it's a nice reddish oh. color yeah, yeah it's really okay. pretty so okay what, what else would you suggest um, and then um, if you want some caffeine because some people need their caffeine because um, hibiscus is you know cap it's there's no caffeine in hibiscus, but um, if you need some caffeine, because some people do, um, you can do a natural green tea, and then um, I combine it with chai. So chai is tea. It chai means tea. So not we we have this inside joke, right? Chai. When you say chai tea, tea you're right. actually saying tea tea. tea. <laughs> <laughs> but chai is amazing. Yeah. So chai chai the masala, which is masala means combination of spices. So we like to do like green tea so that gets the caffeine, a little bit of natural caffeine. It also speeds up your metabolism too in the right. morning. Well, that's um, good to know. Yeah, so green tea. And it's, it's also wonderful for your immune system. Mm -hmm. um, and then I add like the chai uh, masala, which is the ingredients for the chai, which is clove, black pepper, cinnamon, um, and you can have a variation of it, you know, nutmeg if you like, so. Um, and then it's great for you, so black pepper. I am at <laughs> one cup of coffee in the morning and I never finish it because the caffeine just doesn't do it for me anymore. Yeah. And I realize that as you get older too, it just does, it's not healthy. So yeah. I like what you said about the natural green tea. I'm going to yeah. give that a shot with yeah. the chai. So green tea, chai. Um, and then uh, throughout the day, it depends on if I need to pick me up um, <laughs> or relaxing me kind of uh, tea. Yeah. Um, I'll have like... For relaxation, um, lavender, chamomile, yes, rose, um, yeah. flowers. Um, uh, I love those. Sometimes they recommend chamomile before bed too. Chamomile yes. before yeah. bed, yeah. yeah. Um, but you know, I work, <laughs> I work a lot. Those of you who know me, I really don't stop. And plus two children. Plus two kids, <laughs> uh, but they're amazing. They're amazing kids. I they mean, are. I can attest to it. I've seen them. Grow. Yes, thank you, Jim. Yeah. But, so you know, it's like. Um, because I, I stay up late working for an international company alongside my own business as well, sometimes I'm up later than I'd like to be. So I do have a cup of tea next to me. And it, it is and a what, common... What do you usually have? Usually, so I, gotta, I have to get work done, so I can't get too sleepy. Right. But um, generally speaking, I like to have like I do like to have a, a green tea. Um, that's my that's my a little um, caffeine. Yeah, that is my to go to my choice mm -hmm. for caffeine, and and what's wonderful about that is that it doesn't make you jittery. Typically, green tea does not make anyone jittery. Mm -hmm. And then coming down from it, there's not that hard crash, you know, like you get in other right. like your coffees and such. So I'm um, sorry, I thought I turned that off, but um, yeah. So. That's that's typically what I like. Um, I do encourage people to journal before bed too. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, oh, definitely. Yes. Yeah, I encourage you to do that because we have a lot of thoughts in our mind from the course of the day, and it can get overwhelming. Um, and then a lot of us end up, like you said, Jim, we're on our phones at night or on you know computer, and then we hit the bed. And then that's when we start processing our thoughts and we have disturbed sleep. So I really think it's essential right. to try to turn off your electronics and take a pen and just put down all the thoughts from the day, even if they're not the best thoughts. So that way you don't process them in your sleep and you point. take you mm -hmm. take them out of yeah. your mind. Right. You put them on paper, make it tangible. 
Um, and that way you can see it in the morning and then just go to bed. A good friend of mine once said to me, write down things because it frees your mind. It frees your so mind. True. It sure does. To have it a free mind. mind. And even at work, I utilize that making lists. So yeah. I'm not thinking, well, I, let me think of the 10 things I have to do. And all day you're thinking about them. Yeah. You write yeah. them down, you yeah. see them, you, you cross them off as you go as through. You go. It's right. wonderful exactly. to organize exactly. that way. And I mean, it really works. So that way you're not carrying all that burden, yes. you know, in your mind. Oh, I have to remember to do this. I've, to, I've got to do this. And it adds up. Like this. Goes down. Okay. It adds up. I want well, to show your, your logo, which is beautiful uh, yeah. on, on your phone. Oh, that so, is super pretty. This is the Root and Remedies Let's, let's see if I can get, logo. if I can get, uh, well, I have all these little <laughs> things on there. I, I also wanted to talk a little bit about aromatherapy. Well, I guess we can try some. <laughs> It's okay, at least I can show Well, it. there's, there's, there's... Look at this beautiful logo. Mm -hmm. Explain that again. I know you did on the last Yeah, part. so... You see the tree? Yeah, the, so it's the, the I felt body. like... Yep, so that logo is really special to me. Roots of Remedy, is, like I said, has been around a long time. But um, about two years ago now, yeah, I think about two years, years ago, I needed to change the logo. I said, the old logo doesn't represent me, and it doesn't represent the company. And um, so that... I took a lot of time, and I felt that that was the most appropriate logo for me because it is a tree, right? And it's and the um, roots. The, the roots. It's roots and remedies. So of course, foods from the earth mm -hmm. are medicine. So the branches are all allowing us to create medicine, you know. And um, the, there's seven chakras, and the, I'm sure you've heard Keep chakras. Yeah. <laughs> right. So there are different chakras. So the seven chakras, they are basically. Um, their their energy vortex um, aligned alongside the spine, and each one of those chakras are connected to a specific organ within the body. And um, when your chakras are misaligned or not lined correctly, then you are that particular organ within your body is not functioning well. So right. so really, it's it's about alignment yes. and making sure that all your chakras are in in balance. Mm -hmm. That which means that your body's in balance. It means all your organs and. And then and you can also see the f there's a female image in there too. And the which female, I love. yeah, which is yes, represented. which is you. Which is yes. me. Beautiful, me. beautiful, yeah, so beautiful, beautiful. That's just kind of just like crew puts. Beautiful. Thanks, Jen. Inside Absolutely. and out. Absolutely. Yes. That's just fine to me. I so I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> but you know, just I, accept the compliment. Exactly. Accept <laughs> I've learned. Company. I'm learning to accept it. I mean, listen. You know, um, I do what I do. I am who I am. Um, well, so because passion, I'm people. passionate. Yeah. I mean, right. some people who don't know me that well can have this impression of me as like, is she too good to be true? What is she? Who does she think she is? But <laughs> I am really. This is who I am. I knew and that I'm, about you the very I mean first well day I met you, That's and right. we're going on two. Well, actually, we are in two years. Wow. I knew that about you the first day Thanks. I met you. So Thanks. yes, I can attest. To I that just thing. want best for everybody. Like for no. me, I mean, I don't do what I do. Um, it's not a job, right. you know. It, it, it's it's right. something that I. I don't know how it's to part of you. Yes. you know, that's part it's of part you. of who I am, yeah. and I feel like you know why not give this. Um, I'm so sorry. That's okay. Why no, no, like, no, no, don't. Um, my phone keeps on going off, and I thought I lowered the volume, so I apologize. Okay. Um, but that's yeah. the group. But we, we, you know, I just I. People I, can sense that when they meet you or if they see you on this video, right, right. they can sense who you Thank are. You. I just I think it's important if you have knowledge share it with others to share yeah. it with others because we need to share our knowledge with those people that we love or even with anybody that needs it right. like needs the help needs the compassion and they needs all do. the help right. yeah, everyone needs to be yeah. able to solve things naturally is my yeah. belief I love on. that picture. That's gorgeous. Let's talk a little bit about aromatherapy. Do you? Yes. Do you, yes, thanks. I love aromatherapy. So you know you can get you can get stress relief as we've talked about mm -hmm. through meditation through tea through uh journaling um but yes you can also get it through aromatherapy through your your sense the sense the, oh, the sense love it and how many times Which have you smelled use? well lavender was, i'm sure is one of them i know it, and <laughs> you, you have a you're I'm allergic, allergic. <laughs> he's allergic to lavender I know that, thank goodness. So I don't give you anything that has lavender in it. You really are. That's but true. But for aromatherapy, that would be wonderful. Is that lavender that right there? Yes. <laughs> lilac, actually. Oh, lilac. I can't. It's close. I can't. My eyes. My glasses somewhere. Um, but I think that how many times have you smelled something and it takes you back? Oh, yes. it takes absolutely. 
Calgon to or, me away from or, that or even uh, Deb has mentioned some perfume scents reminder of a mother or you know yes, yes. That, that they've touched our yes. lives yeah. yeah it certainly does work aromatherapy it, and it takes you back and you have that moment in time all over again yeah so it's special. you do you do and I, and so it's do you so burn candles I do I burn I burn candles scented it. scented and but I do like. Um, so I use aromatherapy depending on the mood and the necessity. And what I mean by that is that sometimes, you know, with allergy season, mm -hmm. you know, going on, we can be coughing and sneezing. So there's certain um, that are uh, essential oils that can actually help with that. Oh, great. Um, there's also people who have upper respiratory right. and cold and flu season. Mm -hmm. We're in it right now. Yeah. I mean, so I mean, I know some of you know that eucalyptus is great. So you can definitely use yeah. eucalyptus. Yeah. And if you don't even have, like, if you don't have a diffuser, you can always put it in the shower. You know, mm -hmm. I've I mean, heard people say mm -hmm. that. You and can the put steam. It, the steam. steam in the shower. Or yeah. like, even if you don't want to do that, the old-fashioned way is to take a pot of water. I mean, there's there ways. You, you take a pot of water. <laughs> yeah. Put a couple drops of the essential oil in. There you that go. it's steam and put a. You know, I mean, I, there's many ways a around towel, it. A towel over your a towel yes. over your head. Yeah, yeah, breathe it in. So. I adore candles. In fact, holiday time, I had all the candles burning. I yeah, loved it too. What a difference that makes. I do that every night. So, so every single night, every night mm -hmm. when I, so I'm going to kind of let you into my world a little bit more. You know, I, I, I do like to take a nice warm bath or a nice shower at night. Um, and I love to have my candles. Yes. I just love to. And then I usually put some soft music on as there well. There you go. Um, I do. So, and well, and then great. I use, it and then I use, mood, yeah. it puts me in a great mood. Relaxing. And relaxing. Relaxing. Even if I have to get back and work, you know. Right, I, right. That's, that's the key. That's the key, what, what I wanted to say. Like, everybody has different um, lives, right? Lives and different experiences. So, yes, typically we should be, you know, getting up in the morning and doing things by routine. It's not always possible for everybody to do no, that. No. So even with me, I have to work late until like one o'clock in the morning sometimes, but I still take those breaks for myself, even around eight o'clock or nine o'clock or 10 o'clock, just to like unwind from the day, relax my muscles and my mind, get into my pajamas, and then I'm back at the laptop working again and I'm right. drinking my tea, you know, just to, so there's- But you've restored your your mental focus yeah, and, right. to be able to do that part like right. you know so I do break it up throughout the course of the day because I feel like when we when we think of work you know it's like oh work you know this week I got to do this and this and then I got to get home and I got to cook for the kids and I got to clean and I got laundry and then, listen we all have right. a slew of things to do uh, fortunately I work from home I travel for a living right. but even with that routine even with that lifestyle, I, I develop a routine. You have to, yeah, definitely. I, I develop a routine, so does that make sense? It's sure. Beautiful. Tell us a little bit about basil, too. Um, well, basil, do you remember what I told you about basil? <laughs> Re refresh my recollection. You know, ba basil has, <laughs> do you know it's good for like, it's like an insect repellent? Oh, is it? I oh, now okay. I remember you saying that, yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, remember wow. that, insect repellent. Bur insect basil. repellent. No, we don't have the mosquitoes right now, do we? No. No. We have the iguanas. <laughs> the falling iguanas. My goodness, they were about I, to fall when we had that temperature that was like... I know, and we're getting that temperature again this weekend, and it was all over the news again. But. Yeah. But I love, I mean, basil have so, so many... Basil has, and insect repellent. That's interesting. I, well, I wanted to say something that I don't think too many people know about basil. It's... Right. You know, um, yeah. and it, of course, tastes great, and yes. Italian. Italians put oh, it on. Forget uh, about it. If Forget you, about it. Forget about it. it. In, our, <laughs> in our tomato sauce. In your tomato <laughs> sauce. It tastes great. Um, you know, basil has a lot. It has anti-inflammatory yes. benefits as well. Um, you know, so there's just got these herbs have multiple medicinal benefits. Yes. There's just that's not. That's the beauty of them. That's the yeah. beauty of it. Um, because that's what I want to stress too, if you don't mind. Like, all of these, all of these herbs have multiple medicinal benefits. Yes. Not just one. Right. They have multiple. The majority of them. I don't know one that does not have multiple medicinal benefits. So, if you take a certain combination mm -hmm. with a certain amount, you target a specific ailment. So, you know, um, there's so there's there's so many ways that you know you can target an ailment 
by combining a combination of herbs in the right amounts, right. you know. But that's the that beauty is, of Krupa's knowledge too. People can can right. consult Krupa. She has consulting sessions that yes, she scheduled with do. you. I do. Do you want to give your phone number or how do they contact you? Yeah, the yeah. So rootsandremedies.net. Um, you can definitely go onto the website and I encourage everybody to fill out an intake form first and foremost. Mm-hmm. I can help you, um, but I can really help you when you fill out an intake form because that helps me um, understand your health sure. mm-hmm. and and your if you're on any pharmaceutical medications because right. people... There are contraindications between pharmaceutical medications and nutraceuticals. There's a hundred percent contraindication there with some of them. So, for me, for me to know will allow me to help you better. Um, So that's the first thing I would say is go online, fill out the Mm -hmm. intake form, and then um, then sign up for a session. And I'm very easy in terms of like accommodating. I mean, I do travel a lot. (laughs) I do travel a lot. You can can consult no matter where you are. Exactly. Exactly. Um, Of course, one on one is always uh, like in person is always um, preference. But with technologies these days, um, I do um, my one on one consultations a lot. um, You know, via Zoom or video. Yeah. 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 And do you still get the benefit of it? Sure. Sure. And let's talk a little bit about vitamins too. I know vitamin B is is something to consider. Yeah, B complex is for sure. Yeah. So, like, first of all, I think there's people are like, why do I take vitamins? Well, first of all, food right. has natural vitamins. We 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 get our vitamins and minerals through food, but we don't all always get. All of the vitamins yeah, and minerals. Yeah, because you can't consume the amount you might and need. And the amount, the food. that's yeah. why we need to take vitamins. So I always say, um, and I know we were talking about bees, but I think it's really important to take a good whole food uh, multi that's age-related and uh, gender-related. Um, so that way you you are catering specifically to you, and then you're filling in the deficiencies. How many right. of us have deficiencies? Sure. Once we fill in our deficiencies, we're we're actually, mm-hmm. you know, um, helping with these ailments that you know we go to the doctor for, and they just give us nothing against pharma- doctors because I have a lot of doctors in my family. But you know, when you take a pharmaceutical med medication, it's a band aid, and it's covering up the 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 true mm-hmm. uh, deficiency that we need to fill in. So if we can fill in those deficiencies with a good whole food uh, multi, you know, that is age related, gender related. It fills in our deficiencies. Then we add supplements accordingly. Yeah. Then really there's sense. supplements. Right. So vitamins and minerals to fill in the deficiency. Then we add the supplements based on the ailments to try to reduce or eliminate whatever we're suffering from. B vitamin B complex is essential. I feel when you're going through a lot of stresses right. in life because um, we deplete a lot, yes. and so we need to replenish. So if you can take a good B-complex, that's great. Um, I think also vitamin D is something that we really yes. need. It's very critical, vitamin D. a lot of enough sun. Not yeah. enough sun, right. not enough sun. And, you know, that can present a lot of health issues too, lack of vitamin D, you know, fatigue, slug- sluggishness and such. It was it's interesting. I was reading about vitamin C. We all think about citrus fruits like, mm-hmm. you know, oranges. But Mentals. I read the kale has high kale? vitamin C. Yes. I was really yes, shocked. Does. Kale does, yes. and even lentils, uh, legumes, yes. they have yes. large uh, amounts of vitamin C. And, and yellow peppers, I heard, mm-hmm. the yellow bell yep. peppers. Yeah, I was surprised yep. to hear about the kale also, but yeah. yes, it does. Kale. Yeah. You know, we drink, okay, um, Yazzie and I, she's up in Philadelphia right now, Yasmin, but um, we do a dr- green drink with kale. Ah. We do, we mm. make... Um, when she's with me, it's almost every single day. What else every do you put day. in that secret so, formula? Because yeah. sometimes Cooper shows it on Facebook saying, I do. I'm taking my morning, my morning drink. drink. <laughs> but she doesn't tell us the ingredients. So if you're watching, you can get a few of them sometimes from Sometimes I do. I try. I try. If I you mean, don't want to tell us all of them, tell no, us a few. No, okay. <laughs> Kale, for sure. Um, uh, spinach. Ginger, oh, uh-huh. and then I mix it up with some um, antioxidant fruits, you know, like berries and stuff. Mm-hmm. So and what do you use for the like liquid? How do you rivers? start with it? Um, well, I do. Uh, yeah, that's a trick. No, I <laughs> no. Um, I do like like it's variation. So, but I love lemon. I love fresh lemon. Okay. And um, you know, I like it cold, so I put some ice cubes in there too. Um, add a little bit of water. 
Um, but uh, yeah, typically it's like fresh ginger. So you ginger. fill it with ice cubes first? Well, I, I fill it like I take some water. Well, I, I, yeah, I put a little bit of water in there. Okay. And then I do have some um, ice cubes in there as well. But I like the, not the, not the ice cubes. It's like the like crushed ice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah, and then you one. add your ingredients. Then I add my ingredients. So you don't fresh... need a lot of liquid to start off with? Um, not to start off with, because okay. I, I think you can um, add the liquid as you go. Right. Like the consistency, the like consistency. you know, and if you want, you can add you can add like a protein powder in it if you want to, like a you know a whey protein right. powder, um, that gives you um, some protein. So you vary it. From mm, day I vary. I vary it in, from day to day. You know. See, um, we still didn't get her secret formula, but we got some of the ingredients. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'll post. I'll post. I'll post something maybe. To like, <laughs> you, you know, I got a lot of secret formulas. Come on. That's why you need to uh, consult Krupa. I have that Nutribullet at home. I love the Nutribullet. And I yeah. love the Nutribullet. And yeah. I used to, once upon a time, be really very disciplined about um, the drinks. And I had like a little menu on my refrigerator, but the spinach and yeah. watermelon and strawberry. Watermelon. Melon, fabulous. When I, I was pregnant, I when I was pregnant with the girls, that's all I craved was watermelon. And it's so good for you. It, it is. Helps it nausea. really is. Be better than pickles and ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> I had some interesting cravings, but you know, yeah, long time, long, long time ago. Long time pickles ago. Pickles and ice cream. Yeah. But no, yeah. I... Oh my goodness. I don't know. <laughs> they just say that generally. I know. I know. Pickles and... <laughs> Now just to touch on the Love immune Jim. support, <laughs> the immune support a little bit. Oh, yeah, and I know yeah. you've talked about this before, so I want to bring it up. Turmeric. Oh, oh yeah. Turmeric, yes. Yeah. Turmeric a is, a, is amazing. It's, um, it's an anti-inflammatory, anti-fungal, and um, uh, it's got anti-inflammatory, anti-fungal. <laughs> I know, I'm just, I'm just thinking of the pickles and ice cream. So. <laughs> Can't get that image out of your head. <laughs> Actually, I She's going to run out of here and get pickles and ice cream. <laughs> and I'll let you know how it really tastes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah, so it's an anti-inflammatory, anti-fungal, um, anti... Um, ginger is also very good. Ginger. <laughs> no, well, and that has a lot of the same properties. Well, Boswellia is one of my favorites as well because it has a, a lot of the same properties as turmeric. But it also has a natural analgesic to it. Okay. Um, and Boswellia is a tree. How do you spell that? Um, B O S W E B O S W E L L I A Boswellia. Okay. Boswellia. Okay. And the resin from that tree is frankincense. That's oh. great for your upper respiratory. Wow. Right. Yeah, it's a very powerful tree. But it has a lot of the same properties as um, turmeric. You and know. I know you can buy ginger in the vegetable department or fruit department and actually boil it, right? You what, can boil it. We, we, what do you do? Oh, my goodness. So many different things with ginger. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I love ginger. I mean, I put it in my green drinks or my smoothies, of course. Do that's you take the, 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 the that's ginger from yeah. this? Yeah, that, that, the, fresh ginger, the fresh ginger. I mean, so yeah. like... And you slice pieces yeah, up Yeah, slices. Up, so you want to take okay. the skin, right. the skin off. Right. Um, you just peel it. Um, and then you just... But it's very strong. So, right. you know, you don't want to just like take chunks of it and yeah. eat it because it's... It, it, it exudes a lot, overpowering, yeah. a lot of heat, right. a lot of heat. So okay, that's be careful if you're menopausal, and I can say that because you know I'm not too far from that, you know, that age. Right. So, right. Anyway, but you don't want it to be overheated. So, but um, and and I do need to point this out. Too much ginger. See that? That's the other thing. Like all these are amazing, but. When I, I said right amounts, when you overdo these things, they can have an adverse effect. Like yes. I said, wow. these are medicines. Too much so or it too can little, it right? can thin your blood. That's why it's important Ginger. to consult some group of because yeah. you need to know the proper measurements. Yeah. Measurements are important and because the intake form. Don't forget that. The intake form. <laughs> Very important. The intake form, yeah. So well, that's nice that you can do that. I mean that that that's your whole template. Yeah, somebody, yeah, absolutely. and and I and and the wonderful thing is just to reiterate again because I'm at both ends of the supply chain. I'm at the top of the supply chain and at the bottom where I'm dealing directly with the consumers. I know the quality. I know where how it's being made. I know where it, where it's sourced from, and um, I think that's really important when you do consult with me. I know. Yes. I know where these ingredients are coming from. Right. You know, I know these brand. A lot of these brands on the shelf. These branded ingredients you on the shelf—they right. come from 
where I'm from, right. they come from me. Like but a, some of them, you yeah. don't know the efficacy. Right, you know, exactly. You, it's such important to have exactly. the knowledge that you do about the background. Exactly, exactly. So oh, we love exciting. having you with us as a guest. We sure do. Thank you. Yeah. It's always a delight. Thank you. It's so informative. All of your help. We love you. Oh, thanks. I'll, I can come on anytime you want me to. I can keep no. on talking. <laughs> I love this topic. And, and we always like to consult our dear friend Marie Pinschmidt. Marie, Marie. Out of my mind we and love into your Marie. heart. It's a great book. Yes. Essays and poems. So the one I picked today is a, is about the perfect garden because we're talking about natural things natural. There's nothing like a garden to chase the blues away, uh -huh. right? You might want to go into the garden and like Krupa meditates outside on a patio. <laughs> Do you journal? Fruit trees and favorite flowers okay. bring joy and bliss to my day. The sweet, sweet smell of roses, sweet peas on the vine, gentle flapping of butterfly wings Ooh, make a weary it. heart sing. A bench in the shade of an oak tree, a pitcher of tea alongside herbal tea. Music supplied by honeybees as they gather sweet nectar nearby. A visit from a friendly neighbor makes the day complete. A feast for our bodies, eyes, and soul is my garden fulfilling and oh so sweet. I love oh, that. Isn't that great? <laughs> I love the neighbor part. Yes, yes. Too, that I think that we're interaction all with others. Yeah. Yeah. Marie, you're so insightful. We love you. Thank you for we what never you, what end you our show with that, or Maria. Yes. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I love that. I'll tell you. You know, I was saying to uh, Jim and DeCrupa that the 15th of this month yes. is going to be our anniversary. Jim and I. Our second anniversary of Bright Horizon. Yeah, I don't know where the time has gone, but I took the time. Congratulations, and I, guys. I yeah. can't get over it. I remember day one. I, uh, I so that. enjoy what we do together, Jim, and I really wanted to take the time to. Uh write you a love note my oh, dearest thank you. Jim thank you. and here's how it goes okay my dearest Jim this Sunday January the 15th will make our two-year anniversary co-hosting our bright horizon show this experience has brought me so much happiness and a newfound level of expectations in my life it is a great feeling a pleasure to know that you truly enjoy helping where others but it's exhilarating when you know that you have our time together for me has been a reflection of my inner soul that just knew that we were going to make a difference uh -huh. i thank god every day for his blessings for his many blessings he has bestowed upon me for sure you are one of them what a great two years this has been I certainly look forward to many more creative and uplifting shows together God willing we can spread more sunshine that is so needed in our lives and in this world two heads two hearts that saw the same vision Wow what a difference a day makes thank you my dearest Jim Jim, for taking this delightful journey with me, there are priceless memories that I will always be thankful for. Let's see what bright horizons we have on our continued journey. Lots of love, always. Thank I you. I love you, my co-host. I love you. Thank I you. love so that. So heartfelt. I, I thank just, you for I even allowing tears, me to be a part of this. I almost had tears in my eyes. Started, <laughs> but you know, I, so I just. <laughs> I, I, I'm starting to cry. Yes. I was about to cry. I, just, I, I took Beautiful. the time and I said to myself, I've just got to do it. I love. I enjoy writing so much. Thank so there you, you go. My thank you. Thank you. Thank gym, you. I'll gym. cherish that. You guys are amazing. <laughs> can I Can I just say, first of all, I'm honored to even be on this show or this particular oh, show. You. you know, this means a lot that you, yeah. it's approaching your two year yeah. anniversary and I'm here. I know. To like I be think a part it's wonderful. Of it, so. God is good. God is wonderful. Yes. You There's both There's a reason why bring, you're here with us. Absolutely. Well, yeah. You two have brought so much happiness in all of our lives because when I'm oh, on the other side you. watching this, I love to say hi guys and I watch <laughs> it I and know, I know. and you know what? I have to let you both know that you're making huge differences oh, in you. people's thank lives. You yeah. thank so you thank you for so being. I hope Brian we can Horizons. make the change, the uh, have the effect on people's lives that Krupa does because she really oh, touches absolutely. lives and makes them healthy. So we want to make lives healthy we in our way, you. emotionally, yeah, we we need Krupa. psychologically. Krupa. Yeah. Thank you. So thank you for sharing yourself thank with you us. Thank you guys. Yes. It's a pleasure. Well, I love you guys so much. Oh, we adore you and love you. Yes. And you know, we always like to end the show with. Say, what a difference a day makes. What a difference a day makes. And what does that mean? Does that mean that something comes out about this time? Or what do you yes, think? it's I tambourine. Think so. <laughs>
<laughs> Here it is, everybody. What a difference a day makes. 24 little hours brought the sun and the flowers. Where there used to be rain, what a difference a day makes. And the difference is Krupa. You, yes. and, you and you and you and all of you. You and Ronnie. <laughs> All of, us. all of us. Oh, oh us. my goodness. You. you better believe you make a difference in our lives. Krupa, thank you so much. Yes. Thank you thank so you, much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. You. And spreading okay. your wonderful word of, of nutrition and health. And please get on Krupa's website. Please, please, please. Roots and Remedies. Roots and Remedies. Net. And you will not be sorry. You will be thrilled. N, roots and Remedies. And we have a new year, a new you, a new beginning. Contact Krupa. Oh, but yes. until we see you again. What keep, do we always say? Keep, keep your, your horizons, horizons bright, bright. everybody. Mwah. Love so you all. Thank you for joining Bye. us. Bye-bye. Have a great one. We always thank you for joining us. And I'm just going to say we appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.